Hey, I'm Rob B with Rob D and we're from Property Hub. Now, investing in property without any money. Sounds great, but can you really do it? We're here to tell you the truth about no money down deals. Now, is it possible to do no money down deals? Well, lots of people will tell you yes. And once upon a time, you could. You would buy a property, negotiate a discount of say 15%. Then on the day of completion, you would refinance straight away, withdraw your money back out, that discount, and you would have gotten in a deal with no money in. Incredible, right? Well, also reckless, and that was one of the reasons why the property market went kaput in 2008. But today, many people still say you can. But Rob, can you? Well, let's look at a few different ways by which people might say that you can. The first of those is using bridging finance, which is basically short-term finance that's usually used either when you're buying at auction or doing some kind of development to a property. Using bridging, it is possible to minimise the amount of cash that you have to put in. For example, there are bridging products that will let you borrow against the end value of a property once you've done the works, then they will advance to you money against the works as you go along. That means that you have to put up less of your own money than you would if you were putting down the deposit, plus all the funds for the refurb or the development. An alternative is to use bridging by borrowing against equity that you have in properties that you already own using something called second charge lending. But neither of these approaches are for beginners. They both can be very powerful tools in the right hands, but also supremely risky for beginners. And in any case, it doesn't count as no money down because you're always going to need to put in some of your own money. Another way people claim you can operate with no money down is by doing a joint venture. You find someone who has money, work together, and then split the profits at the end, which is great. But let's be clear, you're still using money. You're using other people's money. So who is gonna lend it to you? Well, if you have no experience, then only friends, family, or fools. You might have great intentions, but if you haven't got great experience, why would anybody in their right mind lend you money to go practice playing property? It's reckless and you shouldn't do it. If you are experienced, then you can operate this way. But demonstrate your track record to whoever you're looking to work with. Show them what you've done. Produce numbers. This isn't about selling to them. This is showing them that you are worth backing. This is a business venture. So if you have experience, treat it like one. But if you haven't got experience, this isn't really a strategy you should be adopting. Another approach that people often talk about as if it's no money down is rent to rent. And if you don't know what that is, it's much like it sounds. You'll go and rent a property from a landlord and then try to rent it on to somebody else or a group of people for more. And you'll keep the spread in the middle. Now, rent to rent, in my eyes, is not really investing because you don't actually own the asset. It can't go up in value over time in a way that benefits you and you can't do anything to it to increase its value. Really, you're just a glorified letting agent. You could end up making more money than a letting agent would for doing something equivalent, but it's still not really investing. And even if it was, it's still not no money down. You're still going to have costs associated with finding the deal in the first place, doing the legals on the deal, then setting the property up, maybe even furnishing it, and then you'll need to have money on hand to cover maintenance or to pay the landlord if there are void periods. So rent to rent, you could argue about whether it's property investment or not, but in any case, it's not no money down. Something else you may hear as a way of getting into no money down deals is via a lease option, which is very similar to rent to rent, but at the end, you actually can become an investor, unlike rent to rent, and buy the property because you've taken an option to buy that property at a later date. But remember, you will need money when that time comes. Now, if your rent to rent strategy is successful, you may have accumulated enough money, if you've been disciplined, to then purchase that property at a later date. But it's not no money down, but it's the money that you've made that's getting put down. So, not trying to be party poopers here, but again, another strategy that really isn't no money down. So, Rob, why are so many people saying that you can do no money down when actually we've proven? It's pretty much impossible right now. Well, it's cynical, but I think it's also true to say that no money down is a great marketing angle, even if it's not true in reality. So if you're trying to sell courses, there are lots more people out there without money than there are with money. So thinking about no money down deals makes sense if you're trying to sell courses to others, but not if you're trying to actually be an investor yourself. So sorry if we've trampled on your dreams a little bit there, but hopefully we've showed you that there are still some ways that you can get involved in property. Absolutely. Well, let us know if you've been offered no money down strategies before, because we'd be keen to hear in the comments. And make sure while you're there, you subscribe and give our bell a ring.